Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 8 of iCarly. This time the title of the episode is I Love When. And yes, we are here, we are back, we are ready for a new episode of iCarly. I am doing like a binge, of, I did four episodes yesterday, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do like the rest of the season today. So if you're on Patreon, you get to watch them back to back. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys like it. And continue supporting for more because I will be posting the entire series of iCarly both on YouTube and on Patreon. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys continue supporting. Uh, I'm very, very excited. Uh, the previous episode. What was the previous episode? I Need Space. Oh, it was the, the with the, the Czech Argentina, right? Uh, you know, messing with... with uh, data and things like that and uh thankfully uh carly's conspiracy theory worked out and yeah she was suspicious and she figured it out and was able to save a few people so yeah she should do a a, a segment on her on her youtube channel about um conspiracy theories i think she will be really good at it <laughs> uh but yeah i am excited to watch this episode i hope you guys are as excited as i am to watch me react to this episode um thank you for watching thank you for all your support um give it a lot of thumbs up subscribe comment hit notification bell uncut reaction is always posted first on patreon like i said by the time you're watching this i'm probably in season two so go and check it out link in the description down below and for now without further ado let's just begin with season one episode eight of iCarly here we go <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go find Pluto. Now that it's no longer a planet, I bet it's all sad that it's not relevant. Like Kanye. <laughs> Come on, Kanye. You gotta I try love that. It. He always gets like this when I stay with my mom for a little while. Which I get. I'm the brightest star in his universe. <laughs> Why is you are Gwen in town. Gwen and I are in a good place. I'm over the divorce. Really? Are you? <laughs> it would take me a lot longer to get over a gorgeous marine biologist that travels the world and has eyes that just See you. Oh, girl. And I'm less over it. Mark, <laughs> uh, is there a little thespian in here who misses her mommy? Me. <laughs> oh, you said oh. thespian. <laughs> oh. She's a lesbian. I love you so much. I see you're still trying to make cargo pants happen. <laughs> Look, who's talking crop top? Ooh, they don't like each other. Well, you're smelly. But a pipe burst in my apartment, so we need to find a place to... Stay with me. Oh. Freddie, are you sure? Hmm? Oh, yeah, you'd be there, too. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Millicent already has her own room, and we have an air mattress. For that me. I will apparently be sleeping in. <laughs> yeah, and then you can go take a shower. I love this for us. <laughs> but really... Go shower now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm glad she's sassy with You've everyone. You've been here long enough. Okay, so they don't like each other. Mmm, bitch. <laughs> oh, what? To see you. Why can't we stop pretending to hate each other? What? Okay, so you would be lying to Freddy and you actually like her? Are you having a secret love affair with her? Oh, no! Trying to take a shot here. I mean, what's the matter, young child? <laughs> <laughs> Only you could design the costume. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on, Harper. Volunteer is the right thing to do. I believe the children are our future. Calm down, Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Like you. And look at this place. Boy has taste. <laughs> I hear the trap, but I'm too flattered not to fall in it. I'll do it. Ugh. I'm going to call Mrs. Decker. The volunteer who does the most impressive work always gets a prize. Prize? Oh, no. Wow, this... It's Wait. the locket with Millicent's baby pics before she grew into her giant head. <laughs> Gwen and Freddy? Why is she wearing this? And why am I talking to myself? <laughs> because it's you. Mm. Lots of questions. <laughs> I know it's bad for my heart, but I still want it. <laughs> the oh, it sounds pretty cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Just say how you feel and ask her to recreate the magic. I've hinted at it, but she says it's really complicated and I don't want to pressure her. Oh, no. 
Who's gonna think that her parents want to go back together? Whoa. Do you think they want to get back together? Uh, who cares? I'm getting them back together whether they want to or not. Oh. Uh, we shouldn't interfere. Unless we should. <laughs> no, we don't want to manipulate them. Unless we do. You make good points. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, she understood everything. She understood everything wrong as the enchiladas he wants. But it's Freddy. It's not impossible for him to not be actually into her again. I just know how devastated Freddy was when Gwen left. If there's a chance she wants him back, the least I could do is put him alone in a room together. Alone? Aren't you forgetting about someone? No. I remembered. Oh! <laughs> Mrs. Freddy Benson! Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm sleeping at Michael B. Ugly's house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it is Mrs. Benson, you know? This may surprise you, but I have never been asked to a sleepover. Oh, I wonder why. What? <laughs> Millicent, can you believe that? I cannot. It seems impossible, <laughs> but that is possible. <laughs> Puzzle time! You. Puzzle piece cut. Not to worry, I have miles of gauze. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I brought my mini first aid kit. Oh! <laughs> mini. Okay. <laughs> so, she's trying to set us up. This is awkward. Actually, it's perfect. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. <laughs> I need to be ready. <laughs> he is a okay, grown up. Shoot. <laughs> oh, good, you're already here. I need to measure the circumference of your head. It's a very normal size. <laughs> That's not what this tape measurer says. <laughs> I'm making hats for everyone at the play. Or you can go ahead and tell them to give me the prize now. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Toast is great. Go toast. Bye. <laughs> hey, where are you two going? It's time to puzzle it up, and I'm down a finger. Oh, no. Spencer will help you. He's the best at puzzles. Isn't that right, Harper? He's the best at nothing. <laughs> They're very competitive. I found his cowlick. I'm seeing someone. Oh. No! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm happy for you. Aw. Thanks. Then why you have the It's working. No heck. We both knew this was bound to happen. We knew too. Yeah. The only part I'm worried about is Millicent. Mm. Uh -huh. Mr. Spencer, we have a problem with the set. Apparently it's falling apart. <gasps> what? I'm not surprised your sets are crummy. Because they're toes. <laughs> Oh, are you playing a court jester? Because this is serious. Don't worry, I'll fix it. I'm going to need some peanut butter stacked. This scene was dedicated to two star-crossed lovers. My loving parents, Freddie and Gwen. You've managed to do what Romeo and Juliet never could. Stay I'm alive. I'm so happy you two are getting back together. Wow. <laughs> you shouldn't be that encouraging her. Effective. Sea turtles never worry about telling their kids anything. They just bury their eggs in the sand and run away forever. You think that could work in this situation? No, no. Probably. <laughs> what? Who's Ernie? He's Gwen's new boyfriend. Don't worry about it, Carly. I'm fine. She told me about him over dinner. You have a boyfriend and you didn't tell me? But we're friends. Whoa! <laughs> Hold up. You guys are friends? Since when? Since always. <laughs> I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Wait, if you're dating some guy named Ernie, then why was Freddie's picture in your locket? It's a present for Millicent to help break the news. I put pictures of Freddie and me in it so she'd always have both of us close to her heart. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Millicent, I, I gotta go. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh oh. That's a lot of toast. <laughs> If your child has a peanut allergy, please avoid this area, or there will be much ado about anaphylactic shock. <laughs> and now, Romeo and Julia! She's so cute. Olive, right? That's her name. <laughs> What's in a name? That, what
which we call a rose <laughs> by any other name, would smell as sweet. <laughs> uh -huh. Thou art not the man I was expecting. <laughs> I bring news, my fairest Juliet. <laughs> Just tell me what news thou hast for me, annoying traveler. <laughs> Your mom and Freddie aren't getting back together. Wh oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a disaster. <laughs> Mr. Paul, you don't think Millicent just made up the prize knowing how competitive we get so that we drop everything and do stuff for her children's drama club, do you? She ex she did exactly that. Actually, that totally yeah. checks out. Yeah. Mr. Spencer, Miss Harper, the principal would like to see you. Oh, no, we're in trouble. Uh, you're in trouble? I bet you I'm going to get those boots. No, no. <laughs> see, that's the thing. We may not live together, but we're still a family. And we're always going to be... I do like having two Christmases and birthdays. Wait, if both of you marry other people, then get divorced again, would that mean that I get four Christmases and birthdays? <laughs> Is there a reality show that can speed this up? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like all of Millicent's scheming that I had very little to do with was worth it. <laughs> These ribbons weren't the only prize, Fredo. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how it happened, but Harper and I have been appointed co-chairs of the PTA! Parent-teacher association? Yeah. You don't have Parents to. and teachers? Right. Of which you are neither? You are right. right. <laughs> Amazing. Hey. What? I was desperate. No one else volunteered. <laughs> Miss Kylie, do I get a cool blue ribbon, too? No. No? You ruined the play. Yeah. You're in big trouble, young lady. <laughs> 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 okay guys so that was the end of season one episode eight of iCarly this was a, a very good episode it really was a good episode um because we kind of saw a little bit more of Carly and Millicent working together you know and I kind of like that because I have a feeling something will eventually happen between Freddie and and Carly. So if that happens, that means that Carly has to have a better relationship with Millicent. So that this was the opportunity. Uh, we met uh, when uh, Millicent's mom, when uh, she's really cute. Like I don't know how Freddie got that really gorgeous lady in the first place, but she's really cute, um, very smart, right? Um, and we also get a little bit more backstory on, like, who is Millicent's dad. Millicent's dad is gone, dead. Um, and that's the reason why he is the other parent in this relationship. And because he truly, I'm pretty sure he truly cares about Millicent. That's why they are doing the co-parenting thing. And that is the best decision any couple that goes through divorce can do is that's the easier easiest way to make it for your kid you know because a kid will always want their parents together um but you don't need to stay in a loveless marriage or you know some a marriage that just involves the screaming and fighting and you know being petty and things like that you absolutely don't need that that you cause a lot more trauma uh that way but for for them to have you know come to the point of like hey, we steal our parents and we need to co-parent, you know, this kid together. And, you know, in the process, being friends, I mean, we didn't work out as, as a couple, but we're parents and, you know, um, um, we establish some boundaries and things like that. And at the end of the day, we can be friends. And that is, that is amazing. That is very mature of both of them to think and to do. And I think that's the reason why Millicent felt like there was an opportunity for them to get back together. It's sad that they can because of Millicent, but it's it's amazing that they are portraying a very healthy relationship between two parents that went through divorce, but they still love their kid and are, are there to, uh, you know, to protect them and to be there in their lives without causing any more trauma, you know, and I, I like that. I, I feel bad for Millicent because, of course, she wants her parents together, but, yeah, I'm, I'm glad, though, that um, 
uh, that they are, you know, such a, an amazing role model on how divorced parents should uh, talk and, 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 and get along and all of that. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> uh, Carly shouldn't have gotten herself in the middle of all of this. Uh, but I don't know. I think she was, since she's still friends with Gwen and she loves Freddy, she was really like, okay, maybe this can happen. And like Millicent heard that he wanted to come back to Millicent. So she was, she thought she was, uh, doing them a favor, but of course she wasn't. <laughs> uh, anyway, so also what happened? Oh, well, Harper, they're doing this thing with Harper and and Spencer where they are um, very competitive. Like everything is a challenge for both of them. Every time it's like, who can do it better? You know, and it's, it's funny, uh, but it's, it's kind of cute as well. But I don't know. I don't, I don't really know if, if, I mean, for Spencer, I'm pretty sure that he will agree to date her, but I don't know if, 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 Harper will want that. I mean, as much as she said she's uh, pan, it seems like she leans a little bit more into women, or at least at least the comments that she makes are usually about hot women, you know? So, uh, I don't know. But it wouldn't be, like, too crazy to imagine that maybe Harper will end up with Spencer, right? I mean, they have chemistry. They're really, you know, they challenge each other and all of that. Could happen, I guess. I don't know. Not, not my first choice, to be honest. But I'm not denying that the strays <laughs> might win. Oh, well, that's unfair to say. Because she's queer, even if she dates someone of the opposite gender. So, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, it was fun. It was... I mean, Mrs. Benson was as wild as she has always been. Um, and it's always a pleasure to to see her on the show. So yeah, I'm excited for the next one, which is titled I am what? I M L M. I M L M. I don't know what the hell that means, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Please continue supporting by giving a, a thumbs up heart. If you're on Patreon, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction will always be posted first on Patreon in case you guys want to check that out. Link as always will be in the description down below. And that's it. Thank you for watching and for your support. Uh, for now, that's all. Yeah. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for iCarly. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.